All right. The Jaybraid is out on the market and there's a big boo about it. Why? What makes such a big boo Basically, it's value for money. It's an eight-weave braid. Um, it comes in several different colors, chartreuse and in olive green. Um, it is one of the most durable braids that we have that's available. And yes, it ties a good knot as well. Now, I've used it myself. I've noticed the, the, the tying is true, and I've actually watched the iCast video where they made a big spiel about it. Um, I think it was last year or the year before even. And even the best guys are raving because it's so quiet. The eight weave is so quiet. It doesn't make much noise through, through the guys like the four weave. But normally that's in your very, very expensive braids, some of the key qualities. Now, am I right in saying that's exactly what J-Braid achieved? You're getting all the qualities of a very expensive braid for a more than reasonable price. That is true. Basically, it is wax impregnated, making it quiet, like you say, as you cast. Okay. So I think we can expect a lot of things. I need to hook some big fish on it. I've spooled it on all my reels to see what it does, but it, it's, it's a lovely braid. And then now, excitingly, the four weave is coming out, which is, sure, even 40% cheaper than that for backing. That is perfect. That is correct. It's a four weave braid. It comes out in a um, yellow, so you can see it at night. So when you're fighting that big fish, at least you'll be able to see where the line is actually going. It is a thinner diameter, just slightly than the eight weave, but it also is a fraction of the price, as you've just said. It is phenomenal. Now that's quite exciting for the braid market. As you all know, braid is one of your costly things, very durable, and you can leave them on your reels a lot. Now, uh, Ray ran us, ran us through the BG range of reels, and what I saw in the BG, which is, what's quite interesting, is they've, they've made a little, in, in the bottom grooves, they made a little hole, you know, when your reel gets wet, that the water can soak up there, which, help, which helps a bit for the durability of your braid. That is correct. But with a waxed braid, what happens is, when you initially use it, it actually repels the water. So to get the water out, those grooves are designed that when it goes back under tension, all the water gets extruded out of your actual braid. Okay, so well, still you wanna, you wanna rinse it with fresh water after Correct. the session, so that uh, that water can soak out. It's not salt water that still sticks, because the salt stays behind if you don't rinse it. Correct, water. and what you find basically with braids that are not wax impregnated, after a while, the salt actually builds up inside it and the salt crystals actually cut the fibers. And the, obviously, if you cut the fibers, the braid becomes a lot weaker. In the past, I used some, some I'm not going to mention the brands and stuff, but I used some braid which was wax impregnated. And unlike the J-Braid, which I didn't find on the J-Braid, when you even wind this onto your reel, the wax stays behind on the eyes and you can see your braid doesn't have wax inside anymore. It's just a coating instead of impregnation and that makes a massive difference. Huge, huge difference. It throws nicely initially, these other braids that you're talking about, but after two or three uses, there's no more wax left in it. And you find that when it comes to doing your knots and that, the knots start breaking, the braid actually becomes old and in those I can't say cheaper braids, but in those braids you'll actually find if you leave it in a cupboard for a couple of weeks, the actually mold starts to build up inside those braids. Now Ray, I notice there's a nice option of colours in there. Uh, what is Chartreuse. that? Chartreuse, dark green and then I see a multicolour. Okay. Basically the multicolour one is more for the guys that are jigging and popping. Um, for our ski boaters, we, it goes from 65 pound in the multicolor all the way up to 150 pound. We also carry them in bulk spools, 1,500 meter spools, for the marlin guys. They want to top up their big game reels. It's a hollow braid, so it can be spliced as well. Nice. So that's another answer, a more cost-effective answer for the deep sea guys as well. Oh, great. Now, we're all stuck in this thing of thin braid, high diameter. Now, I've heard so many braids are rated differently all over the world. There's actually no standard. And I've noticed that J braid is a thicker braid, according to Breaking Strain. And I believe it's totally underrated. But what is the positive of this? Basically, a thicker braid is better in that if you're fishing, for instance, in a rocky area, um, hound sharks, gullies especially, um, you've got the confidence to pull the fish, even if it's run, rubbing over the rocks. You've got that extra little bit of uh, durability. durability in it. That is yeah. it. 
because I mean we're all scared to even for Hal Yun and Bronze Bream with the braid because they don't quite have the abrasion we're used to with monofilament so now basically that adds to that so that's that continuous improvement that we all want in, in fishing and in the braid side it's that's, just the evolution that is so true basically a thicker braid is better for rocks a round braid is better for casting and that's what you've got in the J braid. You've got a round braid that is very abrasive uh, resistance if you want to call it that. And that obviously for the competitive guys is, is a perfect. big bonus. Yeah, definitely, especially when you're fishing in the rocks. Yeah, and in the mess. That's it. In the smashes there where the guys burn each other off on a regular basis. Yeah, yes, so, yes. so that will all add to that. Now that's great news. That's what we want to hear. Now, I always tell everybody, buy the best product your money can afford, especially when it comes to lines, braid, hooks, swivels, as well as your reel. Okay, if your budget can afford the best. But with J Braid now, you can expect to pay a lot less for a top quality braid. That is so correct. And even with the four weave now, people that have never fished with braid before, um, newbies to the game if you want to call it, a father with two kids, if he had to go and buy the top of the range braid, he's in for three grand. Yeah. The four weave is so economical that he can fill up all three for reels half the price. for half the price. And it's nice to tie knots to learn with. So if you're a newbie, the four weave is definitely the way to go. Just to learn, to experience it. And if you find that you're comfortable with it, you can go into the better braids, the eight strands and stuff like that. Well guys, that, that kind of sums it up. We're going to be testing these braids on a, on a regular basis and give you guys feedback. But the bit I've used it already, I've fished uh, four sessions with a J braid already. Casting, very excited about the casting. And uh, the knots, obviously, everything Ray just said is true. So make sure you have a look out for the J braid. The eight weave already in the stores and the four weave is kind of going into the stores now. That is correct. So you'll soon, soon see, them, see them as well. So thanks, thanks for giving Lovely. us a bit of light on, on the braid section. Only a pleasure.